CM365 All about Carnatic music We are all aware of the monumental work Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini which was uh, authored by Sri Subrahma Dikshadar and happens to be an encyclopedia on Carnatic music. This book is a treasure trove I would say in terms of helping us understand the concept of raga, swara, uh, the compositional forms and many other things uh, as was prevalent then. And we owe a lot to Subrahma Dikshadar for giving us this valuable work. Today I'll be sharing something about Subrahma Dikshadar. It's very interesting to know about his life history. He is the last uh, Sion, I would say, of the Dikshadar family and flourished as a scholar in the last half of the 19th century. He could be said to be the first modern musicologist and uh, author of this great work, Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini. He was born in 1839 AD at Tiruvarur to Shivarama Ayer and Annapurani. And Annapurani happened to be the second daughter of Balu Swami Dikshadar, who was the brother of Muthu Swami Dikshadar. Subarama Diksha's elder brother, Ramaswami Ayer, he was also actually very proficient in music and playing the veena. But sadly, at a very early age of 45, he died. And uh, during his lifetime, he actually received a lot of honors uh, from several Maharajas. Subarama Dikshadar was uh, taken to Etayapuram by Baluswami Dikshadar who happened to adopt him at the advice of some senior renowned uh, astrologers. And uh, we know that Baluswami Dikshadar was, was the Astana Vidwan of Etayapuram. He actually brought Subarama Dikshadar there and uh, taught him Sanskrit, Telugu, music. He gave him very rigorous training in all this. Subarama Dikshadar learnt in depth the secrets of music as propounded by Venkatamaki in the Chaturdandi Prakashika. He made a very detailed study about this work. Uh, that is what probably, uh, you know, was the foundation for him to do the work Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini. Balu Swami Dikshadar also guided him in Veena, the Lakshya and Lakshana of music and carefully nurtured him. At the age of 17, he composed a Thana Varna on Kartikeya Swami in Darbar, Atatala, in Tamodi, in the presence of Sri Venkateshwara Etapa Maharaja too, and other court musicians. So this was a, a brilliant uh, composition that he did. And the audience were obviously wonderstruck by this uh, prodigious uh, talent. But uh, there are also some people in the court who said that, uh, no, no, this is not composed by um, Subrahma Dikshadar. But uh, this is the father who has composed, Balu Swami Dikshadar has composed it just to bring fame for the son. So in order to test his abilities, he was asked to compose a Jati Swaram again in the Ragam Yamuna Kalyani using some specific musical pattern. He was also monitored by a few musicians so that uh, they could be assured that it was only he who was composing and he was also given just one hour to compose it. But uh, the brilliant uh, person that Subrahma Dikshadar was, he immediately composed a beautiful composition and uh, thus proved his worth. Balu Swami Dikshadar uh, died at the age of 73 and uh, Subrahma Dikshadar was then deputed as the Samasthana Vidwan at a very tender age of 19. Subrahma Dikshadar, apart from being the author of the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini, was also a great Vagekara, a composer. So he composed uh, Chauka Varnams, which was ideal for dance performance. He also composed a beautiful Raga Malika in nine ragas, Endukurara. At 21, at the age of 21, uh, he composed this very beautiful composition in Shankara Varnam, Shankaracharyam. He went to Kumbakonam and uh, in the holy presence of Sri Shankaracharya, uh, in praise of whom he had actually composed this particular composition. He sang it to him and he received his blessings. And the Shankaracharya, after hearing this, was uh, very much uh, pleased with the profound talent of this great musician. And he gave him an ancient manuscript, a treasure book of all the Lakshana, 
Lakshya Geetas, Prabandha and other compositions of Venkatamaki. This was handed over to Subhrama Dikshadar. Thus, what happened is that after that, uh, Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshni came to be written and uh, the Etepuram Samasthanam published it. Uh, they were uh, very uh, instrumental in bringing out this book actually. Etepuram actually was ruled by Rajas who were themselves poets, musicians, patrons and uh, multilingual scholars. So that is why they understood the value of the art and also patronized it to a, such a great extent. Now five generation of rulers were experts in vocal music and instruments. Uh, for example, we see that uh, Subrama Dikshadar himself continued in the court of, because he became the Astana Vidwan, Samasthana Vidwan at the age of 19, we see that he continued in the court of Venkatesha Etapa Maharaja to Muthuswami Etapa Maharaja, Kumara Etapa Maharaja to Venkateshwara Etapa Maharaja to. And uh, the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshni came to be written in, in the year 1904. And uh, after that, he also wrote a book called Prathama Abhyasa Pustakam in the year 1905 about which uh, probably we will discuss later. That is another very valuable contribution of uh, Subrama Dikshadar. And uh, we see that uh, the patronage by royalty of Etai Puram, uh, through that only he was able to actually carry forward to complete this work in the sense that uh, learning Sanskrit, Telugu and music with the support of Jagadvira Ram Kumar Etappa. Then uh, he was also made the Astana Vidwan and uh, that helped him to publish the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshni. And uh, we also see that uh, this uh, particular work, what is this Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshni is that it is one of the most valuable treatises. And uh, it's mind-boggling to see that it has got two sections and uh, 1,700 pages this whole uh, work contains. It's an encyclopedia on music and it resulted because of the, basically be, because he belonged to the Dikshadar legacy. So he was highly knowledgeable in various terms, in terms of the language, in terms of music, in terms of Lakshya, Lakshana, all this came to him with the help of all his uh, family members. And then... His own scholarship was also definitely there uh, to be mentioned here. Then the handing over of the manuscript of uh, Venkatamiki tradition to him. And of course the patronage by A.M. Chinnasamy Mudalayar who was very instrumental in terms of motivating Subhrama Dikshadar to bring out this work. And the support of the Ete Puram Samasthanam. So, so many factors actually came together in his publishing this monumental work Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradarshini. And uh, we owe a lot to Subrama Dikshadar for this painstaking efforts that he made to bring out this uh, work because today if we want to understand the whole system of music, we could say that this is the ultimate reckoner, the ultimate encyclopedia which gives us a complete insight into the intricacies of Carnatic music and thus is one of the most useful and treasurable work. CM 365, all about Carnatic music.